Hello, monster hunting tubers, and welcome back to another sort of test experimental video with me, Luanculo. Um, I'm recording this again differently than the update video, so if you're watching along and things look different and it's laggy or something, that's just would be expected. Just trying out new things. So for today, because it's not like a specifically an update video, I'll spend a little bit more time talking about the quest we're going to do today. Uh, sorry if you're planning on playing Monster Hunter World, this might be a spoiler. We're going to go fight like the final boss, because like, I don't know, I figured it'd be kind of fun. Also, he shows up kind of on a random rotation, so you can't just do it any old time, so. Anyway, uh, first off, quick look at uh, equipment. So I'm going with a pretty generic pink Rathian armor set. It's uh, just basically set up for poison damage, which the boss is pretty weak to. And it has some other skills that are kind of useful. Uh, I can pull them up here. So the, the set bonus is for poison. Windproof is kind of helpful for not getting stunned by wind, but not specifically on this boss. My charm just gives me more damage. Uh, part of the set gives you more regular tool use, which is actually kind of handy. Uh, a little bit of poison attack, which doesn't matter too much, because he'll be poisoned lots. Handicraft is a uh, sharpness bar, if you look at the little colored bar by sharpness on the right. Evade extender is a little bit easier to evade when you roll with your iframes. And that's it. So it's not even that special uh, equipment. I mostly just have it for the uh, evade extender. And then I have a fancy uh, poison longsword, so yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, this will be a different style of boss than... Um, you know, I was going to show this off. I, I meant to set this up ahead of time, um, just just for fun. Go rainbow. This is this is really good armor set to go uh, to go with rainbow <laughs> dot. Anyone who's really familiar with world will know what I've done to get the rainbow set. If you don't know, don't worry about it. But <laughs> it takes a bit of work. Um, so anyway, let's eat some food. Um, one of the monster hunter world things is you can eat different uh, types of food to get different buffs. Um, some buffs gives you attack up, some buffs gives you defense or elemental. I generally just go with attack up because I'm kind of boring. There's actually a relatively complicated system for what food gives you what skills. There's, there's all kinds of these different bonus need that. So, uh, the reason I picked this quest was actually because he had an intro cutscene that you can skip, of course, but it plays this every time you start, so... It gives you guys a little bit of an introduction to what we're fighting against. Assuming the video doesn't lag out. This is just a slideshow. Trust me, it's really cool if it's not a slideshow. So this is Xenojiva. I call him the Laser Dragon. But he's probably the Crystal Dragon or something like that. You can grab a transport at the hitching post there. So we're not we're not fighting against a boring old uh, no non no no name Diablos. This is an elder dragon. We're we're getting serious now. So I got a couple buffs. Uh, I just drank a mega demon drug, which gives me, uh, until I faint, which will never happen, uh, an attack up. Uh, pretty sure it stacks with the kitchen skill, although maybe it doesn't. Uh, it's not just your monitor. The whole arena is shaking because the the Xeno Jiva guy is kind of a jerk. Um, so if you're playing, if you've ever played Monster Hunter World, and you already kind of know what you're doing. Uh, this is not meant to be a walkthrough, perhaps. I don't need gift items. I'll do this with my own gear. This is not like a, a uh, walkthrough or anything. I just, uh, I'll just do it the way I usually do it. I've, I've killed this guy a few times, so we should be all right. So there we go. Big old Xeno Jeeva over there. Lock on. Now, what I like to do personally is you see these little crystals on the roof? There's a few of them. Oh, I totally I thought he was going to walk forward like that. Well, we missed one. But there's another one right there. As long as I get like three or four out of five, I'll be pretty happy. So we start off with this giant uh, laser dragon. We're going to try to drop... I think there's four rocks on him if he follows us. Uh, kind of along the edge of the map here. There's one. It's, it's difficult at first because... You might not know what... Oh, we got his tail. Well, at least it hit him. You might not know what they look like, but uh, there's four anyway. Bam, wham, thank you, ma'am. Uh, the other thing is, every time you hit him like that, he should drop some uh, some shinies. So I'm going to go back and see if he dropped anything sparkly for me to pick up. Meanwhile, try not to get lasered. So I missed him on the first rock in the corner back there. Don't worry, we'll start slicing him up soon. I just wanted to see 
Usually there's a shiny by this uh, this rock. What's going on? Yeah, there, there's the big laser. Uh, he superheats the ground, which burns you a little bit. There's one. Jeez, I was hoping for more than just one shiny. Piercing Pod's the one I really wanted. Okay, I'm going to save that for later. Uh, there's also, if it's a not a... Like, those were red ones that are, like, equipable items, or, uh, slinger ammo, I guess it's called. There's also white shinies that are, like, materials he'll drop, which is kind of nice. Alright, so I guess we should talk about fighting this guy. I'm gonna put this fireproof mantle on, and then I'm gonna eat a mite seed, and then we're gonna get in there. So now I can walk on the lava, and I don't take damage, which is pretty handy, I find. Uh, he does a lot of lasers. He probably don't want to get hit by the lasers too much. Oh, bad timing. I, I could have evaded right through that, but I messed it up. Alright, we're off to a great start. I've hit him a little bit once, and he's hit me for pretty good damage. So. <clears throat> Perfect demonstration. Like I said, it's an amazing walkthrough of how to do this guy. You can go for the tail. Basically, the way I understand it, you want to hit stuff that's uh, glowy. And you don't want to get exploded by the explosions that the glowy bits cause. That's, you know, if you played an MMO, don't stand in stupid. You can also hit his front paws. They're pretty good targets. And he's gonna try to squish me. No luck, mister. So hopefully soon... You'll see some... Oh, ooh, good angle. I didn't think he could hit me from there. That was good. Um, hopefully sooner than later, um, you'll see some poison goo on his mouth and he'll start taking tick damage or whatever you want to call it. Dot damage over time kind of thing. It doesn't really matter where you hit him. It just matters that you keep hitting him and you'll get it eventually. If you have a poison sword, that is to say. So you can, pull, you can hit him in the tail and eventually his face will be poisoned. How did that flinch me? I was way back here yelling at me from across the map. Uh, I believe technically you could go for a mount by climbing up that crystal to the right there and uh, trying to jump on his head. Oh look, there was a shiny over there. Wasn't there a shiny right there? Maybe that was just his tail. Or my cat. Well, you know what? Because I talked about it, let's climb up here and jump on his head, see if we can do it. Not into the lava though. He needs to be a little bit closer. Here we go. Well, I hit him in the face, but it didn't work. Generally, it takes like two... Two hits from a, from an aerial attack to get a mount, in my experience. At least the first mount. It gets harder, but... Alright. We're, we're doing really amazing at not dealing da damage to... I'm talking. It's because I'm talking. I'm also worried that the audio is like way too loud and you're just hearing him yell at me all the time and you're not hearing- You know, it's fine. My commentary is not that important. Just listen to the Xeno guy. No! <laughs> you punk! I had such a good angle there. Alright. I got nothing better to do. Let's just climb up here again. It's fine. Oh, I, I think he's, he got flinched by the cat or something. You know, for somebody who's so big, he's surprisingly hard to hit. I, I, I guess you could probably get a mount off of his tail, but it's, it's probably easier off of his face. I actually, you know, to be fair, I don't think I've ever seen a mount on this guy. Maybe you can't mount him. I don't know. All I know is I haven't even done a single spirit combo. And I should really try to do a little bit of damage. Poor cat. Red Ankylo just got lasered. Uh, but he is taking his uh, face poison damage now. So, we're making some progress. Uh, the main thing that's good with Poison is this, is this guy's got like a ton of HP. So it's a long fight, sort of no matter what you do. And the Poison is nice while he's 
messing around like this and just keeps ticking off a little bit of damage. See, now he's really angry. As long as I hit the last hit there, that uh, finally got me up to uh, white bar. <laughs> oh, he's doing his spin -o laser. That's a fun one. You just get up here, up in the, in, in the, in the goodies, and uh, he can't do anything to you. Oh, he interrupted. He screamed at me right before my final hit. But anyway, now he's flying off, so we're done the first half of the battle. We're doing fine. Uh, he dropped another shiny, but not the kind I want. If, it, if he dropped a dragon pod, I would pick that up, but uh, I didn't see any, so... Alright. Phase 2. Maybe uh, take a break here behind a crystal to sharpen my sword up a little bit. Not that I hit him very many times, but... Did I seriously drink three Mega Potions and then get stepped on? so bad at video games. You can climb up this uh, crystal eventually, but it'll be blocked off until he does some damage to it. Now that we're in this arena though, I would like to cut his tail off. Oh, yeah, that was a mistake. Big mistake. Right. Don't worry, we're not gonna die. Not on this channel. Alright, let's switch to our other cloak. Uh, the Vitality Mantle just absorbs some damage. It's my go-to for laziness. Hey, look, I can climb up the thing now, right? Uh-oh, this is annoying. So, this is why you want to pick up some Dragon Pods or something. We can't do a whole lot to him while he's up in the air, but I can throw those cool pods. And they sure knocked him down quick! Now, I'm in a pretty bad spot for dealing damage. Like, you don't want to hit his back feet. That's not optimal at all. It's the worst place to hit him, in fact. Feet and, and uh, butt, basically. Eh, one to the face. Just do that five more times. 500 more times. There we go. Look at that. Progress. Aw, poor dragon. You guys don't feel sorry for him. He's a terrible laser elder dragon. And he will destroy the world if we don't destroy him first. Nobody in comments tell the other new people how old he is. And that he sort of sounds a little bit like a baby. His screens. So we've uh, we've done the first break on both of his uh, front paws and we've cut off his tail. If we break his front paws a second time, they will be like permanently broken, not just uh, whatever we call it at this point. Let's go for a jumpy slice attack. I almost never break his uh, his wings. You can, but it's kind of hard to hit his wings when you're using a sword. And you're bad. Ooh, good dodge. Look at that. And he's tripping poison. Now, I do need to carve some juicy bits out of his, uh, his tail soon. But I figured I'd wait for him to move on like that. And then now we're going to go for the risky... Risky carve. He's gonna zap me. No! We got a, a soul scale, that's fine. And instead of getting another carve, I picked up a bunch of stupid piercing pods. <laughs> I should really save those for when he's flying around because you need to knock him off out of the air, basically. Alright, we got two carves off the tail, that's what I needed. Now, all we need to do break some. Fingers and break some faces. It's a little bit hard to break his face because it's it kind of, you know, he, he's he's huge. Ah, just missed my good attack. Now, if we do break his hands, which is on the agenda, we will get uh, a nice big knockover. He'll give us some good opportunity. At least the poisoning is working pretty well. Ah, oh, yeah, that's the, the back foot. So you might notice there's a lot of cool, uh, call them crystals, sort of blocking his shots. He will eventually break most of those. So enjoy them while you got them. 
Come on, this, this hand's ready to break. I guess I should be ready to... Oh yeah, I've got my fireproof. So I've been using the Vitality Mantle. It's actually worn out. Um, you can tell because there's no more glow over my health bar. Alright, we're doing this again, are we? Thought we? I thought we showed the audience that I don't like you up in the air. Get down here. Get over here. And then straight to the face. Much better. I think the... Did the cat, like, do something to him? It wasn't me. Well, we broke something. I don't know. His, uh... His horn will look a lot more broken once we break his face. I think we got his... Maybe his front left claw? Unfortunately, I didn't get the knockover trip that I liked. Because he was in the middle of a knockdown from the air. Uh... Okay, this one you gotta be careful about. He hasn't actually done that yet. Well, maybe when he's madder. But when he does his big jump up... Um... If... After he, uh, puts his... His... His, uh, his front paws down... Uh, if they fall into the ground, stay far away. Uh, he actually, I don't think he's even done that move once, but it was the first thing that ever killed me when I was fighting him. Because it's, uh, well... He's, uh, I think he must be, like, fatigued right now, technically, so he's kind of doing slow motion, like, minor attacks that aren't that bad. Yeah. We're getting some good hits on his face. Yeah, the monsters in Monster Hunter World, you know, sometimes sometimes they get tired. Makes things easier on you. Ooh, nice angle. So his front right paw, anytime now. He's just gonna fall over. And Oh, he got me! That was a good slice. Alright, time to get out, heal up. That was very lucky that I dodged that. <laughs> Alright, we're good. Probably should sharpen my sword again too, but... Oh, come on, how can I miss something so huge? I always find with uh, Xenojiva that he's surprisingly difficult to connect with for somebody who's so big. Ooh, I'm lucky that didn't hit me. So, oh, we broke something. I, maybe the cat? See, the cat has like a ranged boomerang thing. So I'm thinking maybe that's what happens. Uh, so now he's angry. You can tell by the fact that he's glowing. Uh, he'll probably do a fair bit more damage and he lights everything on fire. So it's a good time for the fireproof mantle. And the good news is he's actually weaker in terms of uh, defense. So if I smack him in the, uh, in the face or anything like this... Suddenly, we're doing all kinds of cool damage. Not perfect, but we're getting there. Might want to move. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, okay, there's the move, yeah. If you get hit by that explosion, and you don't have, like, a ton of health, you're probably dead. In fact, that may have killed me from full health before, to be honest. Alright, so here's his little spinorama. You know, the drill. Just get on into the jiggly bits. <laughs> he didn't like it very much. Look, I'll hit him eventually. There we go. I got the charge. I'm up to yellow bar again. That's good. We got a glowy hand. If everything explodes. Tell my mother I loved her. Oh, the, pat the cat got a paralyze! That was nice. It lasted a second. <laughs> okay, so he's flying, but I think we've, we we probably broke a couple bits, so there should be some uh, some shinies somewhere for me to pick up. It's just not looking good, though. I mean, we knocked him out of the air twice, which is pretty good, but... Sometimes he just likes to fly around for half an hour. Not really half an hour, don't worry, but like... You know what I mean. It's kind of annoying. He could also zap me at any second here. No pods on the ground. 
I think if I break his, if I had broken his uh, face off properly, we would have got a, uh, a dragon pot out of that. Oh well. We'll just hide behind this and sharpen and he'll never see us. Oh, he's on the ground. That's good enough. And I'm sharp. Oh, you're so lucky. Oh, I definitely rolled the wrong way. I took a ton of damage. Wow. Let's just use a max potion. I got a couple of these sitting around. I don't see that attack very often, his little front paw slice. Alright, we broke his paw again. He's not happy. Oh! I was not expecting that one, so good job. And pretty much just chain me, chain combo me, that's great. That's why, that's why I brought two max potions. <laughs> I swear, this doesn't usually happen. Alright, come on. Gotta break that face. That's his chest. That's not what I want to hit. Ah, oh, get out of there. Get out of there. It's fine. I think I could have done my counter through there, but my timing's bad. Oh, did I get it? I really want to break his face. That's the main thing. He, uh, basically, if you want the elusive horn drop, you always have to break their horns. Oh no, my platform! Well. Still has two horns. Come on, hit him. <laughs> it's so big. He would probably be a lot easier to, to smash a face if you could shoot him with arrows or something. That was a amazing dodge. There we go. One hit, two hits, not the right place. I'm gonna not be taking a lot of extra hits on him because I think he's gonna die fairly soon. And I really want to get that face break before he goes down, if I can. Hmm. Not again! That's what I get for being too patient. Alright, well. Excuse me while I mess around here for a bit. I guess we can put the Vitality made Mantle back on. Got to see his cool charge attack. Pretty easy to dodge, really. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, stand still for just a minute. Face is too far away! Come on. <laughs> he dodged every hit! <laughs> oh, bobblehead. Do that. <laughs> Can't hit it! Yes! <laughs> Alright, we got it. Good enough. <laughs> oh man, that was close. And he's dead. See, I knew he was almost dead. <laughs> Alright, there you go, guys. That's uh, Zeno Jiva in an amazing world record time of uh, uh, five hours. Excellent. <laughs> Anyway, he's not too bad. He's a big softy, honestly. So, anyway, I'll, uh... Ooh, I got some cool screen artifacts there by being inside of him. I can see on the, the second screen there's... There's some interesting, uh, texturing going on. Obviously, I couldn't really watch my recording setup while I was fighting this guy, so... If that looked terrible, this may not have ever made it to YouTube, but... If it looked okay, then you guys can watch along. So there you go, that's Xenojiva. Probably not the smoothest fight by any means. I've, I've probably done it better myself when I'm um, not recording, but uh, still not that not that hard, lots of fun. We'll see what cool quest rewards we get. Oh, I was gonna take my mantle off because it looks stupid.
give my cat a sausage, because he helped. He paralyzed him once. 20 minutes. You know, it's this could be worse. So you get lots of goodies, of course. You killed a dragon. So you, like, last time when I fought the Diablos, I didn't get any of these goodies. So got to see all the cool stuff you can drop. Mostly. Ooh, and a level up. That really matters. That's for the, the internet points. Alright, folks. Well, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to say hi and... You know, I've been playing a lot of Monster Hunter World, so... Because it uses so much CPU, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to record it at all, because I actually have to turn some of the graphics down just for the game to play smoothly. I think it's optimization rather than uh, exactly old CPU. My graphics card doesn't even get that use. It's like 40% or something. But but anyway, I, I was worried that I couldn't record it at all. So uh, the fact that it might be working now is pretty cool. So I'm thinking of just sort of a short series, just showing off some of the more interesting monsters from Monster Hunter World. Maybe uh, showing off some of my different armor sets and different weapon styles. I don't use a lot of weapons besides Longsword, but, you know, I just, I like the cool Longsword. I've, I've used it since the... The very first Monster Hunter game I played back on the Wii, the Monster Hunter Try, so it's just been my thing. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching and all that, and I'll see you next time with more Blue Ankylo one way or the other.